So anyway, Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Okay. They've now fired this thing back up. They've switched Lashley back heel. Brock has suddenly become a baby face. Smiling Brock and suit wearing pissy ass Bobby Lashley. They're mad at each other. They've been hammering each other, laying each other out. And now here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Some smash mouth men's wrestling. <sighs> Did the match last longer than the entrances? I, I didn't go back and put a stopwatch on both, but you could actually count the moves in the match. <laughs> they, they they opened up hot and Brock roughed up Bobby, and then Bobby came back with a spear and got a two count and a second spear and a hurt lock, but Brock blocked it and picked Bobby up and hit him with an F5 and got a two count and a second F5 and got a two count. And by that point, they're selling this stuff, which they should, but they slowed down two minutes in and into some more big stuff and a two count and both are selling and Brock went for the third F5 and Bobby pushed him off and speared him and he milked the hurt lock for fucking ever and then got it and Brock couldn't break it so he just went back and mule kicked Lashley in the nuts and the referee calls for the disqualification. That was it. I, I obviously they think because there's no definitive winner or whatever that they're going to book this again. But after that match, should they book this again? Plus, Bray Wyatt what? just called out the winner on SmackDown. It, yes. And so I, I, I'm. I mean, I was dumbfounded. That that's and then of course you know they give the people the Brock rampage Brock F five's the referee and F five's Bobby again and shit cans Lashley to the floor and F fives him through the announce desk and F fives the referee on the broken desk and it walked off but in the meantime what the f <sighs> wait wait a minute hold on I'll. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's the third match. It's the rubber match. They, I guess, clearly wanted Lashley to win. If they want the direction of Lashley and the Hurt Business against Bray Wyatt and his puppet friends. And they wanted Lashley to, uh, not Lashley, but Lesnar to lose without looking terribly weak. I guess. I won't tap, but I'll kick you in the nuts. And then they get to see him kill everyone afterwards. You forget Lashley even won. I don't know. I think they, they should have been going for people forgetting this match actually happened. Why build this up after multiple matches and multiple contract signings on TV in the last few weeks and everything if this was going to be the end of it, right? That's, if you don't have a finish, don't book the fucking match. And when you build something up like this to be on a big pay-per-view event or some type of big a premium live event, whatever they're calling it these days, and then you give them that, then it kind of hurts their faith in the next time you build up a match they might want to see. Well, it's just going to be the bullshit. We can skip it in four minutes. Somebody will kick somebody in the nuts. Whatever they're going to think, it's not going to be favorable. And I understand the reasons that you just gave for wanting to protect this guy or that guy or the other. So maybe they shouldn't have booked the fucking match. Because they, they control that. If they didn't have a palatable way to get out of it, why'd they get into it? When was the last time you saw a double count out? Um, it's been a while, and you know what? That's one thing from the old days in wrestling that I'm not sorry to see go because they were always flatter than 4 o'clock. Yeah. Always. And the only time it wasn't was when... You know, it, 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 you just emptied the dressing room and had the big giant pull apart and everybody got all that action and they, you know, forgot about it. But even then, it, it had to be the right situation with the right people and it wasn't the end of the program as a, a step in the road. But 
But the old, I'll just pull you off the apron, then you pull me off the apron. That got that lazy booking. It, it even happened back in those days, folks. But nevertheless, um, Brock, we need you to lose. Okay, but I don't want to be pinned. All right. And I also won't submit. Okay. And you can't knock me out. <laughs> I mean, you, you kind of run out of things you could do. And after I lose, I have to kill everyone. So are, are you saying he was, he was calling to get advice? On his finishes from Mil Mascaris, is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, yes. 